Let me tell you something nobody else will. It's not about being good-looking, rich, or even smart. If you want any woman to fall for you, you have to master yourself first. And here's the truth. Most men are failing at this. Forget everything you've been told about dating. It's not about expensive gifts or looking like the guy in the magazine. What really pulls women in is your emotional strength, your ability to stay calm, centered, and unshakable. And believe me, if you don't get this right, no amount of pickup lines or confidence tips will help you. In fact, they'll probably hurt your chances. If you've ever felt ignored, rejected, or overlooked by women, it's because they see something you're missing. You don't control yourself. And that's why they're walking away. But here's the good news. By mastering a few simple stoic principles, you'll make her want you without even trying. This isn't just another dating tip video. This is the secret strategy to unlock her heart. And it all starts with you. Not her, not what she wants, but you mastering your mind, your emotions, and how you show up in the world. Ready to finally win at this game? Let's dive in. Here's the reality. Most men have been lied to about what makes women attracted to them. Society tells you to chase women, shower them with gifts, compliments, or even worse, act like someone you're not. And then you wonder why she's not interested, why she's ghosting you, or why things just don't work out. Let me be brutally honest. You're doing it all wrong. You've been told that dating is some sort of game where you need to win her attention. But here's the truth. The more you try to win her, the more you lose yourself. And she can feel it. Women can sense when you're putting on an act. And the more you try to impress her, the more she distances herself. It's time to stop chasing and start attracting. And the only way to truly attract her is by mastering yourself. Let me ask you something. When was the last time you felt completely in control of your emotions, your mind, your actions? If you're like most men, you're probably reacting to everything around you, her moods, her words, her tests. But what if I told you that mastering your inner world, becoming emotionally unshakable, is the secret to not just getting her attention, but keeping it? This isn't a gimmick. It's a philosophy that's been around for thousands of years. Stoicism. Now, you might be wondering what an ancient philosophy has to do with dating, right? Everything. Stoicism isn't about suppressing your emotions or becoming a robot. It's about mastering your emotions. When you stop reacting to everything, when you can stay calm and centered no matter what's happening, that's when she starts noticing you. Not the guy who's flashy, or always trying to make her laugh, but the man who's grounded, who knows who he is and doesn't need her validation. Imagine walking into any situation, whether it's a first date or a serious relationship, with the kind of calm confidence that makes her feel safe. Picture this, while other guys are nervously fumbling their words, trying to impress her with jokes or showing off, you're there relaxed, not seeking her approval, but just being present. That's power. That's what makes you stand out in her mind. Here's a big truth that no one wants to talk about. Women don't want to be chased. They want to be drawn in. The moment you stop chasing her, stop trying to prove your worth, is the moment she starts to feel something different. She's intrigued. She's curious. And most importantly, she starts wanting you. Why? Because you're showing her what 99% of other men can't. Self-control. Stoicism is the secret weapon you never knew you needed. It's not about manipulation or tactics. It's about becoming the kind of man who naturally attracts, not through what you say or do, but because of who you are. When you master this, everything changes. You'll stop overthinking your next move, stop trying to impress, and start being the man who she chases. And guess what? It's not hard. Once you understand these stoic principles and how to apply them to your life, not only will your dating life change, 
but everything else will too. Relationships, career, your entire way of seeing the world, it all gets better. So, if you're ready to learn how to become the kind of man who commands attention without ever needing to ask for it, let's get started. Words that connect deeply. Now that you understand the power of Stoicism, let's talk about one of the most misunderstood aspects of attraction, words. Most guys think they need to come up with clever lines or witty comebacks to get a woman's attention. But I'm telling you right now, that's dead wrong. It's not about being clever or funny. It's about saying the right things at the right time in a way that connects on a deeper level. Let me break it down for you. Women hear compliments all the time. You're beautiful or you're so hot. These things don't even register for her anymore because she's heard them a million times. She's immune to it. But you know what she rarely hears? Real compliments. Compliments about who she is, not just how she looks. Step one, start using her name in conversation. This might sound simple, but trust me, it's one of the most powerful things you can do. When you say her name during a conversation, it triggers something deep in her mind. It makes her feel recognized, unique and important. But don't overdo it. You don't want to throw her name into every sentence. That feels forced. Use it strategically. Drop it in at key moments, like when you're giving her a genuine compliment. It will make her feel like she's the only person in the room. Step two, compliment her in ways that no one else does. Most guys will focus on physical appearance because it's easy. But if you want to stand out, compliment her mind, her intelligence, her character. If she tells you a story about something she's passionate about, don't just nod and smile. Show her that you're really listening. Say something like, I love how passionate you are about this. It's rare to meet someone who thinks so deeply about things. This kind of compliment isn't just flattering, it makes her feel truly seen. And that's what she's looking for. Here's the thing, women want to feel special and not in the shallow, superficial way. They want to know that you see them for who they are beyond the surface. Most guys fail at this. They're too busy trying to impress with jokes or show off with stories about themselves. But you, you're different. You're showing her that you see her in a way that others don't. Step three, practice gratitude. This is something that gets overlooked but it's incredibly powerful. Women notice when you appreciate the small things they do. If she does something thoughtful for you, don't just brush it off, acknowledge it. A simple thank you can go a long way, but don't just say it, mean it. When you express genuine gratitude, it makes her feel valued. And in a world where most guys take her for granted, that's a game changer. Now let me address something. Most guys do. Stop over apologizing. I see this mistake all the time. Guys are constantly apologizing for things they didn't even do wrong, just to avoid conflict or keep the peace. Let me tell you something. Apologizing too much makes you look weak. Women respect men who own their actions, who stand by what they say. So apologize when it's necessary, but don't apologize for being who you are. Actions grounded in Stoicism. Words are important, but they're only half the equation. Your actions matter even more. You can say all the right things, but if your actions don't match up, it's game over. That's where Stoicism comes in. Stoic philosophy teaches that your actions should be deliberate, grounded, and rooted in a calm inner confidence. Let me show you how this works in the real world. Action 1. Master your body language. This might sound basic, but it's where most guys go wrong. Your body is constantly sending signals, whether you realize it or not. When you're fidgeting, shifting your weight, or avoiding eye contact, you're telling her that you're nervous, unsure of yourself. And if you're not confident in yourself, why should she be? So, the first step is to calm your body. 
Stand tall, plant your feet firmly on the ground and relax your shoulders. You want to exude calm confidence, not tension. Eye contact is another big one. A lot of guys either avoid eye contact because they're nervous or they overdo it and come off as creepy. The stoic way is to strike a balance. Hold her gaze for a few seconds at a time. Long enough to show that you're present, but not so long that it becomes uncomfortable. When you get this right, it creates a powerful connection. Action 2. Move with purpose. Think about the last time you walked into a room. Did you rush in, head down, scanning the room nervously? If so, you're not alone. Most guys do this without even realizing it. But here's the thing. When you move quickly and without intention, you're sending a message that you're unsure of yourself. Stoic men move slowly, deliberately. Every step is grounded. You're in control of your space. You don't need to rush because you're confident that wherever you're going, you belong there. Women pick up on this. They notice the way you move, the way you carry yourself. When you move with purpose, it communicates strength and self-assurance. You become the guy who isn't rattled by the environment around him, and that's incredibly attractive. Action 3. Small gestures, big impact. Forget the idea that you need to make grand romantic gestures to win her over. The truth is, it's the little things that matter most. And I'm not talking about flowers or chocolates. I'm talking about showing her that you're truly paying attention. Maybe she mentioned her favorite author a few weeks ago. Surprise her with a book by that author. Or maybe she told you about a personal challenge she's facing. Check in with her about it. These small gestures show that you're engaged, that you listen, and that you care about her on a deeper level. Stop trying to be the entertainer. A lot of guys think they need to keep women entertained with jokes and stories. But here's the secret. Women don't want a clown. They want a man who listens. So instead of trying to be the life of the party, be the guy who's fully present, who listens more than he speaks. Trust me, that's way more attractive than being the funny guy. Applying stoicism in modern relationships. Let's talk about how to handle things when they don't go your way, because things don't always go as planned. Maybe the date isn't going as smoothly as you'd hoped, or maybe she starts pulling away and you're not sure why. Most guys would panic in these situations, but you? You're a stoic. You don't let external circumstances control your inner peace. Scenario 1. The date is going badly. Maybe the conversation is awkward, or maybe the restaurant messed up your order. A lot of guys would try to fix everything, to smooth things over and make the night perfect. But a stoic man, he doesn't need everything to be perfect. He stays calm, relaxed, and unbothered by the little things. He knows that it's not about the situation, it's about how he handles it. And when she sees that you're not rattled by the small stuff, she'll feel more comfortable and at ease with you. Scenario 2. She starts pulling away. This is a tough one, and it's where most guys mess up. When a woman starts to pull away, most men go into panic mode. They start texting more, calling more, trying to figure out what went wrong. But here's the thing. That's exactly what pushes her further away. A stoic man understands that he can't control her actions. He can only control his response. So instead of chasing after her, he steps back. He gives her space. And in that space, she realizes that you're not like other guys. You're not desperate for her attention. And that's when she starts to come back. Now, this might sound counterintuitive, but it works. Women are drawn to men who don't need them. When you show that you're not afraid to lose her, that you're secure in yourself no matter what, it changes the entire dynamic. Suddenly, she's the one chasing you. Be true to yourself. At the end of the day, none of this matters if you're not true to yourself. You've heard it before, 
but let me break it down in a way that makes sense. Being true to yourself doesn't mean being lazy or complacent. It doesn't mean refusing to grow or improve. What it means is embracing who you are, flaws and all, and showing up as that person in every situation. Stop trying to be the guy you think she wants you to be. Start being the best version of you and trust that the right woman will be drawn to that. When you master yourself, you stop chasing women. You stop trying to win their approval and instead you focus on living your life with purpose, with intention and with strength. And when you do that, something amazing happens. Women start chasing you, not because of what you say, not because of what you do, but because of who you are. So here's the final takeaway. Stop chasing women. Stop trying to impress. Stop playing the game. Instead, become the kind of man who naturally attracts everything he wants by mastering himself first. Be the calm in the storm, the rock that everyone else leans on, and watch as your entire life, your relationships, your career, everything, begins to transform. You now have the keys to unlock her heart. It's not about fancy tricks or cheesy lines. It's about mastering yourself. Take what you've learned, apply it, and watch how everything changes. If you're ready to take this even further, subscribe now and let's keep building the kind of life and relationships you deserve.